Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining problem on the projection of plane. And this is really a very good problem to understand the concept for the projection of plane. So see carefully the whole video. Let's see first of all the description of the given problem. A regular pentagon of 25 mm side has one side on the ground. Its plane is inclined at 45 degree to the HP and perpendicular to the VP. Draw its projections and show its process. So here draw its projection that means you have to draw the front view and top view and that is ultimately called as the stresses. We have discussed in the last video the steps for the projection of plane. So you have to follow these three steps to solve the problem of the projection of plane. So let's see in the first stage. You have to assume either the plane is parallel to HP or parallel to VP. So see a regular pentagon of 25 mm side has one side on the ground. So here it is given to you one side or one edge on the ground that means on the HP. And so that you have to assume in the step one the plane is parallel to HP. And so that you have to start with the top view because of you can see the true shape of the base in the top view. So let's see with the help of the horizontal plane and vertical plane the position of the pentagon in the first stage. So it is like this. The plane is parallel to HP. Now once again the plane is in which position? It can be anyone from this. So once again it is given to you one side on the ground and here I have written in the first stage we have to keep one side or edge perpendicular to xy line and that should be in the left position. So here you can see the side is perpendicular to xy. Now let's give the number to the corner of this plane. It must be in sequence. You can start from anywhere. And in the second stage, it must be inclined to HP because of we have assumed in the first stage, the plane is parallel to HP. So in the second stage, it must be inclined to HP. And here inclination is given to you 45 degree to the HP. So in the second stage, the position of the plane will be like this. Now look at this solution of the problem carefully and try to distinguish between these two problems. Can you differentiate my dear friends? Observe carefully. Yes, here the side that is actually on the HP whereas in this case the corner here you can see that is actually on the HP. So here this problem is particularly for the one corner on the ground whereas for this problem it is actually one side on the ground. So very important point if there is a one side on the ground then the position of the pentagon in the first stage will be like this. If one corner on the ground then the position of the pentagon will be like this. Corner will be over here on the left side. Now already we have discussed you have to follow this sequence because of we have assumed the plane is parallel to HP. So first you have to draw top view and then you can draw the front view. Then you have to replace it. Once again you have to draw the projection like as vertical projection and horizontal projection so that you will get this one. If third stage is required then once again you have to replace it and then draw the projection so that you will get the solution. So let's start with the top view. So very simple first draw the reference line xy, draw the top view that is actually pentagon. Keep in mind here this edge that is on the ground must be perpendicular to xy and that should be on the left side. Now once again the question is how to draw this pentagon. So let's see with the instrument how you can draw this pentagon. First give the dimension over here that is given to you in the description. Now let's see how you can draw this pentagon. So first we have to draw the vertical line which is given to you as 25 mm. 
with the help of this scale. Next, give the name as AE because of here you can see this is actually AE side. Now next, mark the midpoint of this AE as M with the help of this scale. Then draw perpendicular line to this AE. With the help of this scale you can draw it by matching the long line with this red line. So automatically it will be perpendicular line. Now on this line, you have to mark this C point. But what is the dimension of this MC? So very simple, there is a formula for the length of MC that is exactly equal to 1.54 into length of this side. So here 1.54 is always the constant multiplied by length of side that is given to you 25 mm so that you will get 38.5. So here you can see this is actually 38.5 so approximately you can say 39 mm. Now take a compass set the radius as equal to the length of this side that means 25 mm. Now take C as the center, draw the arc on both sides. Now with the same radius take A as the center, draw the arc. With the same radius take E as the center and then draw the arc. So that you will get these two intersection point and that is what B and D. So give the name as B and D over here and join all the points by the smooth curve. So this is actually the pentagon in the first stage. Now draw the projection so that you will get the front view. Now give the name over here it is AE so it must be a dash E dash. Similarly over here it is B dash D dash and here it is C dash. So this is actually your first stage where we have assumed the plane is parallel to HP. So in the second stage it must be inclined to HP and you know that if the plane is inclined to HP then you can see the angle in the front view always. So you have to replace this front view over here. So first take inclination that is given to you as 45 degree to HP. And here you can see in the step 2, you have to consider the surface inclination and that is given to you 45 degree to the HP. So first take any one point, give the name as A dash E dash on the XY line. Now you are going to draw this front view, that means this line. So first draw the line which is 45 degree. So with the help of the side square, you can draw the line which is 45 degree to this XY line. Now transfer this distance over here. So with the help of the compass you can do it. Set the radius that is exactly equal to this one. Take reference as A, draw the R so you will get B dash D dash over here. Similarly with the help of the compass you can transfer this distance. Take A as the center, draw the R over here so that you will get C dash. Now draw the vertical projection and horizontal projection from each corner point. So here you can see this is a horizontal projection from A and over here vertical projection from A. So the intersection will be A. Similarly, you can assume now what will be the name of this point? Yes, that is definitely E. Similarly, this is B, this is D and this one is the C. Join all the points. So this is the top view in the second stage. Now here there is no any inclination given to you to the VP. That means there are two stages only enough for this problem. So in the examination you have to draw dark top view and front view in the last stage only. If you have the time then you can draw the front view and top view in the first and second stage also. So keep in mind that the remaining work should be as light as possible. Is it really easy now to solve the problem, especially for the two stages? If you have any question, then write in the comment box. I will be back. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.